big statement. I'm not rich, but I can do what I want. That's amazing. It truly really is. And yes, we didn't do a lot of things. We didn't come down to Disney very often. Actually, not here. Yeah. What went into the bank never came out. Plus, my husband had one. Were you the saver, or was he the he, saver? He was? I mean, I'm a conservative, too. But there's also things I wanted that we didn't do, because I wasn't fighting those days. <laughs> I my didn't find my, my wife is the saver. My wife will literally come out of nowhere with ten grand, you know. And I go, where'd you get that? I just, I'm the spender. I just had this discussion. Well, not just in November, I went up to North Carolina to my kids, and my daughter was complaining a bit that she's having a problem with her, my son, her husband, because she, she was raised, she was given everything. She's a wonderful, she's a good person. I get wonderful. it. Wonderful. But she's used to doing things, and they're in a very, very good, a very, very good financial position. But he wants to save more, and she wants to do more. A lot of people are changing that concept so, well, to when save. I, told her, I said, I'll tell you this now. At my stage of the game, it means a lot to have it. And you're living through a time when you don't know what's happening. And it dawned on her, someone in, she's, a, she's also a pilot. She works, she's a pilot. Private or, private or commercial? A commercial pilot. Wow, awesome. Uh, um, and so she has a good income. Oh, they, and my son's a commercial pilot. Yeah, pilot. yeah, yeah. They have an excellent <laughs> income. Yes. But they live in a big house and in a nice neighborhood. And they, Things know, cost money. Right. And um, somebody in her office got fired for really no real good reason. And it dawned on her. That anything could happen. You could lose it. Yeah, because they make while they're making money, they can do whatever they want. But if you, you know, they don't have they don't have retirement. Yes, they have four hundred one k. But right now, like this, I don't. This, you know, hardly anybody yeah, has. We don't know what's going to anything. Happen. And it's a crazy world we live in. Who knows what tomorrow's going to be? A lot of us retirees say, "Thank God we're retired, and it's all set up." You know that we have what we have. Because you don't know. You don't know. I mean, you have no clue at all. Yeah. And this Anything is could this is where I learned and because from. Because I'm, you know, be, because of my background, you know, we were both raised lower middle income, not poor, but we didn't have a lot of extras. So this is what I was just telling you how I learned from my customers, and I take a little bit from each of them, and I, you know, I make my investigations. It makes a difference. Yes. You know when. When Herb finally retired, he wanted to buy a car every two years. Oh, go sign it. Damn it, go do, do it. Do whatever you want. I keep on saying. I kept on saying, and what, what did you put it away for? <laughs> you know. <laughs> Why were you saving it, right? Well, that was the purpose, so that we could be okay and do what we wanted to. Well, that's awesome. Take the trips that we wanted to take. Fifty-four years of an amazing life, and you learned a lot from it, and that's. You do. You can help. It. Yeah. All right, let me see what I can do with this, and um, we'll, well try to finish up. Too much because 